Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. My name is Baron Collins Hill. In this week's lesson, we are doing a simple to complex on the tune The Fair Wind. It's a classic Irish tune in the key of G. It's a reel, and I taught it last week uh, by ear. So if you haven't learned the tune yet, go back and learn The Fair Wind. It's a great tune to know, and it's a pretty common tune in sessions. And this week, I'm gonna play it once as I taught it last week, and then I'm gonna start adding some double stops, some ornaments, some triplets, uh, slides, things like that, and talk through how I'm doing it and when I'm doing it. Uh, now, when I do these sort of simple to complex lessons, I'm not gonna do a play-by-play -play, uh, breakdown of every little thing. If you're looking for more information about how to do triplets or slides or double stops, things like that. I have lots of lessons at mandolessons.com, but this is just a great way to sort of get an overview of what I'm doing and where I'm doing it. And then in next week's lesson, we're gonna have a play along jam where I'm gonna play the melody, you're gonna play the chords, and then we'll swap where I'll play the chords, you play the melody. And this is a great way to gather some ideas for playing this tune out in public or with those play along jams. Without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, I'll choose a nice medium tempo here, play through it once as I taught it, and then add some things in and talk you through it as I go. Here we go. One, two, three, four. that we were talking about when I taught the lesson. Here it is. Again. And the big drone. A little syncopation. We'll do it again. B part. A little melodic variation. We'll do it again. Oops, there's the C part. Triplets. Try it up an octave. goes too high. Nice G strum. Triplets. Back to the 
regular octave. Going out. All right, so there's some ideas or some things to throw in there. It's always a good idea to think about the genre you're playing in. Now, I'm no genre purist, but I do try to match sort of the tradition and the sound that I'm hearing in various sessions. So, um, in general, and there's always exceptions to the rules, uh, Irish music is going to have less sort of constant double stops uh, and less, um, you know, big chord ideas thrown in. And it's going to have more triplets uh, than your average old-time tune, whereas an old-time tune is going to be very... Um, kind of droney with little chord bits thrown in there and it's got a lot of different harmonic ideas moving around. Uh, in Irish music it's very often just a simple single melody line with a few triplets thrown in. So you saw me doing some of that I would go throw in a drone and then just play melody on top. And then if I found myself playing too many double stops or more than, you know, if I didn't want to add any more double stops, I would create some dynamics by really taking everything back out and going right back to the, the simple melody line and then, you know, throwing in some triplets. So play around with the tune. The best thing you can do is just repeat it a bunch. Uh, play it so many times that you don't even think about it anymore. And that's really going to open up um, some brain space for adding in things like triplets and double stops. That's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. Check out lots more lessons at mandolessons.com and here on YouTube. Subscribe if you haven't already. Put out new lessons every week. Uh, and they're all free. That said, there's a couple ways to donate to help me continue to put out new lessons every week and do my live streams on the weekends. There's links in the description. I have a Patreon page, uh, a simple PayPal donation. Whatever uh, your preference is, is great and greatly appreciated, but not required. Tune in next week for the uh, play-along jam for this tune, The Fair Wind. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.